नमस्ते एंड जय हिंद वी आर इन कॉन्वर्जेशन विद प्रोफेसर गुरुमूर्ति जस्ट एट अ टाइम देर इज वन पॉलिटिकल कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी ओवर अदर इवन ए सनातन धर्म गेट्स अटैक देर इज दिस होल बज विच इज ऑन प्रोफेसर गुरुमूर्ति सर नमस्कार वनकम वेर दैट देर इज अ टॉक अबाउट नमस्कार द कंट्री बींग रीनेम्ड और पर हैव्स बींग कॉल्ड भारत फॉर गुड प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ भारत एंड नॉट प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया योर थॉट सर बिफोर वी गेट इन टू द सनातन धर्म कॉन्वर्जेशन you know the name bharat appears in the earliest uh, literature of india in all the puranas the brahmanda purana the bhagavata purana the bharata pura uh, mahabharat it is almost uh, 2000 years old according to airavata mahadevan the unquestioned authority on indus valley script he says the bharat appears in the indus valley script itself so bharat is a continuity india is an intervention so obviously this name should have figured in the constitution itself but uh, they said india that is bharat mm. yes <laughs> article 1 says india nor bharat <laughs> yes i think there is the right thing to do uh, if it is done it is very good whosoever does it whether it is the bsj bjp or the congress i am not bothered about whether the bjp is doing it or the congress is doing it but i think all the political parties should jointly uh, support this idea that india is an intervention it is a kind of a name given by uh, travelers and uh, the original name was bharat that is in our scriptures mm. but professor gurumurthy it will also be seen as because it is the indi alliance and they have got the acronym that mirrors the name of our country as india that's why a rattled government or a rattled bjp is moving in for this would you accept this argument i don't want it to get into the politics of it. i don't want to get into the politics of it that it is getting done is far more important for me than as to why is it getting done but i am not worried about the context i am worried about the text <laughs> but but the reason why it is being done is that will also come into play uh, professor gurumurthy that it is being done a lot of people will say all right finally it's getting done but the reason why it's getting done also assumes a certain importance doesn't it sir see nothing gets done without a reason so let us assume that uh, bharat is uh, the name that will be that the country will be known hereafter is it a good thing or bad thing is the issue it's a good thing that's how i will look at it i am not interested in politics which party does it which party doesn't do it hmm. i think every uh, move has a, has a political background in this country hmm and every uh, good or bad thing has uh, been rooted in a political development for example take the amendment to article 19 1a of the constitution hmm. which was brought about immediately after the constitution came into being that was because the supreme court began interpreting article 19 1a hmm. in a manner in which the government didn't like it uh. so they wanted to put restrictions by way of class 2 hmm. of 19 in which uh, jawarlal nehru did not even want the word reasonable he said our hmm. restriction should can be absolute absolute of course there were enough number of uh, people of wisdom in the congress to say hmm. you know the word reasonable must be included hmm. you know everything has a background hmm. so the yeah, whether the amendment is good or bad is more important than what for it is done and the final outcome is important important so that sets the contours perhaps for the special session of parliament between the 18th to the 22nd but you just said that every move has a political reason to it so a platform called Inad- eradicate sanatan dharm and the comments made by udayanidhi stalin how would you see it professor gurumurthy you see uh it's very unfortunate 
that we have to respond to uh, comments uh, from such a person. I would like to say Stalin's son rather mm. than mention his name. Mm. Because you know there is there has been debate in, in Tamil Nadu and that uh, essentially was a product of the British attempt to divide uh, the entire country particularly Tamil Nadu into Aryan and Dravidian. Of course, this has, this has diluted and diluted and diluted and this issue has virtually ceased to exist so far as uh, uh, except of course the left historians are concerned, no one else is uh, mm. understanding or agreeing with the Aryan Dravidian racial divide. Mm. But in Tamil Nadu, a special group began to work against the Brahmin community to consolidate the non-Brahmins and that was the Dravidian movement. Uh, it was called Dravidar Kalagam mm. and the person who led the, led the movement was uh, E.V. Ramsamy Naikan. Mm. But the people who are now uh, calling themselves as Periyaris do not know that uh, E.V. Ramsamy Naikar called Tamil people as barbaric people. Not once, twice. He called Tamil as a barbaric language. And he said, I have been saying Tamil as a barbaric language not today for the last 40 years. Mm. And he also gave the reasons why he is saying it is a barbaric language. And why Tamils are barbaric people. Because the very concept of Varna Dharma, mm. which the Dravidian parties opposed, is integrated in Tulkapiyam, the earliest Tamil literature. It talks about the kings, the hmm. Brahmins, the, the businessmen yeah. and the uh, farmer. Hmm. These are the four divisions in which the society is made of. Hmm. So, E.V. Ramsamnaika rightly said that uh, Tulkapiyam, Tulkapiyar is a stooge of Aryans. And he rejected the entire Tamil literature because the Tamil literature, ancient Tamil literature expounded Sanatana Dharma. Hmm. These people do not know Sanatana Dharma. Sanatana Dharma does not mean caste. Hmm. The meaning that you can affix to Sanatana Dharma is the entire creation is one. Hmm. In fact, Vallalar, whom hmm. these people celebrate, he has talked about Advaita. Advaita is supposed to be the essence of Sanatana Dharma. Yeah. Advaita is formless yeah. understanding of the universe. Identifying the animate and inanimate, inanimate as the manifestation of the unmanifested. Yeah. There is not even a God independent of uh, the creation. God and creation are one. Hmm. This is the idea. Yeah. So, Vallalar says, to understand this huge, complex, abstract thing, you need some symbol mm. and that is idol worship. But after you understand this manifestation, then mm. you discard the idols and that yeah. is called Advaita. Advaita. He talks about Advaita. Yeah. These, these, I would not call them illiterates, but these people have not studied anything. Hmm. If they had read something, you can have a debate with them. It is purely an abuse and I don't want to be involved in abuse and counter abuse. Hmm. And I will go to this extent. Hmm. The three greatest exponents of Sanatana Dharma, Shankara, Ramanujacharya, hmm. Madhva, hmm. all the three were born in Dravidian land. Yes. And more important, Ramanujacharya's biography was written by Karunanidhi. Karunanidhi celebrated him as one of the persons who tried to eradicate caste. And he not only wrote the dialogue, he also serialized it. And the serial appeared in Kalanjar TV, which is his own TV. Hmm. Do these people know this? So, how to have a dialogue with urchins and illiterates? 
you make a very strong statement there, but uh, but what Stalin's son or Mr. Udayanidhi Stalin said… It is not a strong statement. It is not a strong statement. If somebody doesn't know, if, if I don't know what that my own grandfather has celebrated, uh, mm. one of the greatest uh, Sanatana Dharma Acharyas, and even ran a serial and called him a person who fought caste. If I don't know, how I should be called? Hmm. But he spoke about ore kulam, ore devam. That means one kula, one devam, one god. Why, what is this who, entire? Who, that, 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 yeah, who say? Who, who, who spoke? Who spoke? Uh, Udayanidhi Stalin, in that speech. Sir, I don't want. I don't even want to mention about it. it, it he, you see, I tell you, if he was not born in that family and if he is not a minister, he could not be talking about this subject. You hmm. see, if somebody is the son of a father and he was to talk about the family, if somebody is a minister, he must to talk about the ministry. Hmm. He cannot be talking about philosophy. Hmm. He cannot be talking about great literature. Hmm. And the only person who uh, had read all this hmm. from the DMK perspective, I am not talking about uh, E.V. Ramsam Naikar, from the DMK perspective, was Karunanadi hmm. and he wrote about Tolkapiyam and E. V. Ramsam Naikar called Tolkapiyam an Aryan stooge literature. But Karunanadi did not agree with it. He wrote a book called Tolkapiya Punga. Hmm. Yes. The the garden of Tolkapiyam. And the Sanatana Dharma Acharya, uh, Ramanuja Acharyas, he celebrated him. And not only that, Stalin himself went to the place hmm. from where Ramanuja Acharya proclaimed the uh, mantra, Bija hmm. mantra which he got from his guru, Om Namo Narayana, Om Namo Narayana. which he gave to all the castes. Yes. His guru gave him the uh, Bija mantra for himself. He said, I want to give it to all castes. Why should it be only for me? And the temple, Tirukoshtiyu, where he proclaimed, Stalin went there and worshipped. How could these people talk against Sanatana Dharma? When they have accepted one of the greatest Acharyas of Sanatana Dharma as a man who fought against caste. But but they are equating with this uh, saying that, that we want to I remove say, inequality, Guru Murthy sir. And, and there are many who are also sir, saying... I am asking only one. Okay, sir. Mr. Ananda, I will ask you only one question. Hmm. If Ramanuja Acharya was a Sanatana Dharma Acharya and he stood for removal of all differences, all inequalities, all caste differences, how do you say Sanatana Dharma is equal to inequality? Hmm. You, you don't know. You say I don't know. I can understand. You ask questions, somebody can clarify. If you give a declaratory statement, it is inequality and anyone who speaks of Sanatana Dharma must be, must be eliminated or Sanatana Dharma must be eliminated. <laughs> you, do you mean to say somebody you should even reply to this? Hmm. But what is the objective? Is there a political motive to this? You think the DMK is going to get a lot of traction with this on ground? Why would, why would somebody make a statement like this, especially create a platform like this, sir? My final question to you, Jeez. I tell you one thing, they have created a, they have created a platform only for the BJP. They will not get one vote added for them in Tamil Nadu because this is their stand everyone knew. Abusing Brahmins, abusing Hinduism, abusing traditions. It is their, their, their culture, their political uh, agenda. So they are not going to add one vote by making this statement. But they will lose 10% votes elsewhere if the BJP properly articulates it. The Congress is unable to open its mouth. The Janayu Brahmin is not able to open his mouth. The Congress says respect uh, uh, all... So they have put the Congress on political ICU. But there are seers proclaiming 10 crore bounty. The Congress says respect everybody's thought process. They we are may idiots. disagree with them. They are idiots. They are idiots. I tell you, there are enough number of mad people in this country who gain traction because they are a television. Just as some minister 
makes a statement and that gains great traction hmm there are enough number of mad people in the country who can make that statement ask and you will be answered don't make statements and let us go back into your own family history to know what is sanatan dharma and its connection with the people of tamil and tamil nadu especially with this family itself is what <laughs> professor gurumurthy is saying gurumurthy sir thank you candid as always and you've also given us an introspection or perhaps a dip into history thank you so much always a pleasure speaking with you sir thank you for your time